What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another Arming Simulator 19 video here, of course, guys, of Fenton Forest 4X. How y'all doing? Welcome. Welcome back. What is up, guys? I appreciate y'all clicking on the video. As always, guys, today I'm going to go do something kind of strange. I know. I know. I probably shouldn't do this. It's probably going to be a waste of time, but... I want to do this anyway, so we are going to set sail on something real fast. And then we're going to be starting our hay process. Our hay is ready, I believe. Pretty sure it is. So we were going to kind of divide and conquer our equipment, you know? Just saying. So we're going to go set something up real fast. And then we'll be jumping into the haylands. To the Hayland, we will go here in a little bit, guys. Just saying, it's going to be interesting. I believe our hay's ready anyway. I haven't really looked at it lately, but it'll be ready. So, so far, guys, truck and an auger wagon. Truck and auger wagon. By the way, appreciate the comments from the last uh, video. Uh, Little Feather, I'm glad you guys got to replace that TV because that sounded terrible. Just letting you know. Um... As far as the amps for the Christmas lights, I'm drawing 12 amps. 12 amps are all of my Christmas lights. I don't think that's bad at all, considering there's 18,000 18, lights, you know, plus five inflatables, plus the light arama controllers, like all of it total is uh, 12 amps. About 12, 12 and a half, somewhere in there, about 12. We're going to say 12. Final answer. Final, final answer. Final answer. Words are hard. All right. So we are going to go combine something. Might be saying to yourself, John, you don't have anything to combine. Oh, boy. We do, though. We do. We have a contract. Field 36. We're going to go harvest soybeans. Going to pay us $105,000 plus... We'll get the extra crop as well. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to run all the soybeans back to the homestead. We're going to slow, our, slow our, our truck down here because the truck's our lead for some reason. Probably should not have made it our leader vehicle. That's okay. Um, we are going to run all of it back here to the homestead. And then we will sell it later. So that's kind of my plan. That is something I would like to do. Also, a little programming note here, guys, with this series. A little programming note with this series. I will actually be streaming this map tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow is Tuesday, obviously. And I will be streaming this map at noon central. Twitch.tv slash Plow. Link is in the description as always. Okay. We'll be streaming this map for about five hours or so. Uh, during the middle of the day, it's going to be a good time. So, that cruise control must not be set on that fence. So, if you guys are interested, make sure you stop by twitch.tv slash plot tomorrow at noon. And I will post that stream on the second YouTube channel as well. Eventually, in a couple days. So, yeah. Okay, this is going to be perfect. You guys can probably already tell what I'm setting up to do right now. I do like... Hang on. I need to take this away. That's a screenshot right there, boys. Just saying. That's a that's a thumbnail, I should say. I uh, I've been liking the way I've been doing thumbnails lately, where I actually like take a screenshot. They're a lot higher quality. They look a lot better. I just they're great, you know. Just saying. Anyway, we're gonna go do this contract, and then we're gonna come back because our grass is ready. It has turned to hay. So we have a couple tractors that left. Yeah, we have three more tractors, so we're we're good there. We got uh, two bigs and a small, so we'll be fine there because we can rake. And then I might get... Oh, that's going to be a problem. That's really aggressive there. I might get a second loading wagon going to get that process done. I'm not sure yet. Are they going to be able to make that? Come on, climb, dig. Dig. You can do it. That combine... <laughs> <laughs> straight up hill all right let's go we are gonna have to set up a course play course to run stuff back to the homestead like i said not a big deal 
we will make that happen. Probably increase our speed a little bit as well. Go to 26. I think that combine goes 26 back there. I'm pretty sure it does. The other thing I want to do, I want to set him back like a lot. Set you back like a lot. Like a lot. Should move back some, maybe not. Apparently he's not going to really move back. I want him to, but that's okay. Anyway, let's just keep on trucking here across the map. I love the follow me mod, by the way. Oh, no, there's traffic. Okay, we got to turn that off because that is just not going to work anymore for us. Going to be running course play truck back and forth on this. I may get another truck going too. I actually want to change this trailer out. I know, oh, going way too fast. I know we just got, or I did update my course play, by the way. That has been updated. I, I downloaded the new one, finally got it in here before I started playing, actually did it yesterday. I do have the new, newer course play. I don't know if it's the newest one at this point, but it is newer. Uh, 602, and then it's 79 down there on the, on the other numbers, but I think it's newer than what I had, so that's good. Um, also did add a couple other little mods too. One of them is a trailer that I really am interested to try out, to be honest. Combine getting stuck. Combine getting stuck. All right. So today was Sunday. It was a Sunday, it's Sunday right now for me. Farm day, uh -huh. excuse me, farm day. I'm a little, uh, I spent a lot of time outside today. A little cold today. Double up on the pants, double up on the jacket, you know, kind of thing. Gloves, hat, two hats, actually. Just saying. Uh, we went and picked up my farming implement today. You guys saw my snap or my Insta. I did post in both of those uh, yesterday. My stories. My, my stories. I'm the old lady talking about her stories again, you know. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we went and picked it up. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. I will be making a video about it eventually. Uh, we are going to do some work to it, so I might wait and kind of make an update, make a video about it once we get, uh, some of the work done to it that we want to do, but it's all good. I will let you guys know eventually what it is. Just for right now, you don't get to know. Just know that I didn't pay that much money for it. I haven't actually decided if I'm going to tell you guys what I paid for it. Maybe we'll do a guessing game. I don't know. I probably should just be honest and tell you guys. It's not a lot of money. I mean, it is a lot, but like. For what it is, I think we got a pretty good deal. I mean, it's old, old, old. Um, I, Dad was guessing that three generations of the family we bought it from have technically owned it. I mean, two generations of the family are still alive, but like, we're pretty sure it was like the guy we bought it from. We're pretty sure it was his grandpa's. <laughs> so it's, it's old. Uh, used to be pulled by a two track little crawler. Just saying. So that's pretty, I think, that, I think that's really neat personally that it was pulled by a crawler. I just, I think that's really cool personally. So. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I think that's really neat. It's like back in the day, crawlers were a big thing in, in our area, you know, because they had power. They didn't have a lot of power, but they had some power and they, there were, there were quite a few of them back in the day, uh, down by our farm. So, but anyway, it was like a four, three and a half, almost four mile journey, uh, each way. And, uh, it was in the forties. I mean, not the end of the world, like cold, but at the same time, not used to it. It's been, been in the seventies here lately, a couple eighties. Actually it was 90 the other day, I think. So it's like, it's been warm here. And, uh, so, so the forties are kind of cold, you know, forties are kind of cold. I know I don't actually have to slow down when I get here, but I always like to, so there's that. All right, I'll turn around and go back. I try, try, try to stay off the thing, you know. I don't think we'll have any trouble hauling. 
Um, that auger wagon we have does have a pretty decent capacity and um, um, we're using a, like an in-game combine. So I, I don't think we're going to have problems hauling with the one truck. So really doesn't matter if we like cross lines here, you know. In fact, it's already happened, so I'm just not worried about it. Only going to run one truck. This mission is going to take forever. But kind of is what it is, you know. I could have gotten the I could have gotten the equipment through the mission and that would have given me at least another combine. That's okay. It's all good. This will give me something to manage uh, like Monday afternoon. I'm not I'm not streaming Monday afternoon. I know I don't stream on Mondays. It's kind of my like relax time to start my week, you know. The Sundays are always long hard days at the farm and stuff so need some time to kind of relax you know just saying and after christmas lights i i feel like i need to take a little bit of time you know just staying but that'll be monday during the day and then i'll be on streaming monday night it'll be all good oh the other thing we did we finally winterized the farm we finally winterized like everything at the farm because uh we've got some teens coming here like Tuesday, Monday, Monday night, Tuesday night kind of stuff. It's going to be in the teens probably down there. Because whatever they say it's going to be in town, you can you can always count on it being colder down there because you, know, you don't have the heat island of a town and stuff keeping you warm kind of thing. So it's always colder down there, basically. All right, we're going to take a big wide turn here. Because why not? Get him straightened up here a little bit and tell him to drive. Now, where will he actually go? Drive. Drive it. Hopefully he pulls up to that one. He's nice and straight, you know? Yeah, that's what I want him to do. I would like him to stop here. Probably a setting for that, but hey, I'm not I'm not struggling with horse play, don't worry. I've decided I don't do that anymore, okay? I have decided I don't struggle with horse play. I just do things differently than other people, you know? I'm unique. <laughs> or I struggle with course play a lot. Hopefully this one works with the double hopper. If not, I do have that other trailer like I was talking about that I might just go purchase without even trying it. I haven't tried it on a, on a different map or anything. I just might go buy it. I was told it's a good trailer, so. Came from the mod hub, which can't be that bad, right? Wait, it shouldn't be that bad. It might be, but it shouldn't be that bad, you know? In game mod hub, it shouldn't be a problem. So. All right, field 36. I know this is a massive field for a stock combine, but hey, um, I think it's going to be okay. Um, Let's see. Oh. Mm -hmm. No. No. No, there we go. We want to, I want to harvest this way because then his pipe's like always out, you know? His pipe will always be, oh my goodness, look at the lines. Wow, I was kind of hoping he'd go north-south, but that's okay. That's insane. I could probably change it in settings, but that's not a, not a concern. He's going to be out here for absolutely ever. Stock combine, six miles an hour stock capacity. Oh my goodness. Let's go, boys. Lock the game up for a second, and away we go, right? How long is that going to take? Five hours. All right. See, this could be something that I would just set up and let run all night, but I don't trust. Uh, probably won't do that. I've done that in the past. Mostly of the time when I do that kind of stuff, it's like seeding or cultivating or something like that, you know? Just to kind of the tasks that don't involve like three moving parts, you know. But probably what I'll do is I'll save all of these courses tonight uh, before I turn off the map. And then when I come out here tomorrow, I'll fire everything up and let this run while I'm uh, working on some other stuff. Watching YouTube, taking a nap, or whatever. Just saying. My hours are all legit in this game, I swear. Most of them are, actually. Just saying, most of them are. 
Anyway, this is, yeah, that's a massive field. I didn't realize how big this field was. It's almost, this plot of land is almost 200 acres. So, big fields, guys. Big fields here on the, the Fenton Forest 4X, of course. The John Doe field is going to take forever. We will have modded combines by the time we make John Doe fields, you know. Just saying. All right. Force record. Come on down here. I know I shouldn't have turned too much, but that's okay. I wanted a little bit of grain in there just to make sure it was going to hit the first trailer. Pull up to right about there. Second trailer. And away we go. This should work. Good. Being my famous last word, you know. Here we go. He selected to the right combine this time. How about them apples? And he's trying to pathfind right now. That's why my game's lagging. There we go. Trying to figure out his life right there, you know. Just saying. Hopefully he'll figure it out. And he'll go do his thing. Combine's filling up. He's at 19% already, so. Right there. So, pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, come on, mister. I need to go get on to my hay. I'm going to make sure this is going to work. Not like crashing into the truck or anything silly, you know. Just saying. I'm just saying. Looks like it's going to be good. In theory, he'd stop there and empty. Once it's full, he should move up. He kind of hesitated at that second one a little bit. He should be good there. Okay, back to... Uh, not that guy, not that guy. Don't really want to use that for anything. Um, need a rake. Need to rake. Rake it up. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll haul everything to the homestead, and then we'll haul to where it goes for the mission. Which, for that, I might get a secondary truck. Oh, that's a pretty short run. The long run's actually hauling it home, so that's actually that actually works out. Haul it across the map, store it, then boom, up north. Be a big deal. It might break out the uh, auger wagon on the on the bin even. Oh, I can that of course play and let it run, you know. All right, so here's the strategy here. My heater kicks on. Speaking of heater, man, it is going to run like the Dickens here soon. Uh, with it being so cold, my heat is going to be uh, running out here, boys. It's going to be great. Nice and warm. At least that's the plan, Stan. Oh, uh, two, video ago, two videos ago, we talked about plows, and then I talked about it last video, and I never got one. Somebody said I should get the one at the end. All right, but nine meters looks pretty good too. I like it. Okay. Anyway, I need a plow, so there it is. Uh, I plan on plowing probably all this together here real soon. Maybe I'll do some of that Monday or Tuesday on the stream. I mean, I'm not sure. All right, so let's go ahead and set up a course here for field three. We're going to go around it twice. You know what? Can I just not go around? I don't know how going around at all would not work. Anyway, I'm going to go around it twice. Generate, and then we're going to save this. And we're just simply going to call it F3. Or field three. You know, me and my name in. Okay. And he can go do that. And we're going to come back. Oh, is he going to crash? He should drive in the field, yeah. Outside rounds might cause problems. We'll have to keep an eye on that. All oh, these trees might be a problem around this field. Yep. Okay. We'll get back to the raking process in a minute. If we get this to go around the field, then we should be good. If we just put his pipe in a bit, it'll be fine. But we'll go ahead and drive it since we already got it. He's already, like, not quite halfway, so actually nowhere near halfway but if we get him empty now he'll be good to go for a while oh yeah 
but that guy's gonna have to drive all the way around again it's gonna be a whole thing outside rounds on field suck the first one especially you know just saying once you get past the first one it's not bad in fact it's pretty decent you know that first round kind of kind of sucks anyway oh there's a lot of land up here like in between these fields a lot of land and you could set up like a disco party up here you know i don't know why a disco party but you could <laughs> just saying why is that come by going like zero miles per hour holy hannah montana come on boy bro pick it up pick it up phony there we go the hill or something maybe a little dragging the head maybe or something i don't know kind of weird kind of weird man all right he is empty now actually i'm just gonna take my uh take a risk here and just go ahead and tell him to go and where he goes is where he goes i'll find a million in the in the weeds later probably trying to figure out a course right now he's still there we go frames came back up a little bit not a lot wish they would optimize this game a little bit better so we could actually have like frame rate you know? kind of nice saying all right so we need to pick up that hay we're picking it up loose for our uh cows what we're doing right now a little uh fent on fent action here boys big fent guy you know our TV gave us all fent tractors and i bought a fent loading wagon you know, whatever right just saying i think i bought this loading wagon didn't i yeah yeah i had it or no no maybe i didn't i don't remember i don't remember all right so what we're gonna do we're actually gonna we need to set up a course to run from the field to the homestead to store it and I need to be careful so I go in the homestead storage the same way that the semi is going to be going in and out. This guy's going to make way more loads, but that's okay. And I actually want to start from down here. So we can use this same course between the two fields here. And this will just be a temporary course that, uh, well, actually it'll get saved tonight. And then I'll probably get rid of it eventually. So there's that. All right we can just hit uh start course recording let's go now we go drive to the homestead to the homestead look at that beautiful hay looking good boys looking good i actually want to stop that rake next time around clean up the outside rounds and then put him back raking or let him go start the loading wagon to clean up and then either way you got to kind of clean up twice or you got to stop him or the whole thing right because he will make a mess of that field if you don't stop him so yeah okay so we'll drive this in through the thing of there and then we'll uh let him do his thing picking up some hay all right so we want to enter from the north side here because that's the way the semi comes so if, if nothing else yeah they might crash into each other but at least they'll be driving the same direction you know actually i could have gotten two in here side by side if i wanted to be a little tight especially with force play but that's okay all right so we'll drive this back down on this side doesn't matter where we go check out our awesome cotton bales they'll get sold eventually Eventually, eventually they'll get pulled. Not for a little while, though. Not for a little while. By the way, I guess that was uh, something I did after the last video was feed and fertilize. Uh, I did that, yeah, you know, after the last video. A lot of seeding, a lot of fertilizing, right? Another cultivating mission too. What field did I do? Uh, field twenty-three. Yeah, I did a cultivating mission on twenty-three. It took forever. The same big field down there actually not as big as like 22 or you know 21 even 20 maybe but still a good size field you know 
All right. So now we're going to go ahead and stop. And we're going to save this as field three space five. Just, you know, my naming is awesome, guys. Okay. Now, I never remember which one I load first. We're going to load the field and our all in course. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to put him on work mode so he'll, he'll actually work. Okay, now we need to grab our right guy and stop him. Stop. Elaborate and listen. Because when he pulls up here to the end, he's going to get into this window and mess it up. So we could actually, because we have, you know what? That's actually a great idea. We already have this course save or this field saved. So now we'll just go ahead and start working on five. You know, we'll save that as, you know, of course, uh, F5. Because why, why wouldn't you, you know? All right. I don't actually want to start him because he'll probably start at a weird angle and leave like a weird, a weird start thing to it. You know, if we can line him up, it'll look a lot better. Work a lot better. Look a lot better. All those things. The same. And then. Once he gets the first, uh, the outside rounds cleaned up, then we'll start the raking and the rake will obviously drive away from it. that. Looks like, I guess it is the same color. Some awesome looking, looking hay here, I guess, right? Back to the loading wagon. All right, cool. Just picking it up as hay. I wanted to check that just to make sure. And he is going to get quite a bit, quite a few loads because he's already, you know, 30% here and hasn't really done much so i do still plan by the way I, i've talked about this maybe i'll start i don't know actually i would like to do that field eight i can afford okay we're gonna buy field eight right now and that's gonna be my project for the stream i'm gonna work hard on field eight yeah i'll work on field eight i'm gonna do the the mission i'll, I'll try to have the mission done before stream but uh, definitely working on field eight on stream. So cutting and Bruxton and all that. Why are you not proceeding? Why are you not going to like, you should drive on. You're not needed. Maybe. Uh, you kind of are needed though. That combine's like full bro. Huh? Maybe it needs to come in here with like full loads only. Maybe this auger wagon doesn't work. I don't know. I'm not struggling with course play. I can tell you that much, guys. <laughs> if this whole double hopper thing doesn't work, or if I can't get it to work, here's the plan, right? Ready for this? Ready for this? Right here, boys. This is the plan if it doesn't work. 2,500 liters. We'll get an army of them. They're only 600 bucks. Army of them. Wait, we'd have to have a tractor to pull it, wouldn't we? Hang on. I got just the tractor. Six thousand dollars. Sixty six hundred dollars. We could have a we could have it. It's ours. With the trailer. We can even put GPS on it. Or fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> oh goodness. We could do all kinds of stuff to this bad boy. Put them, put them tur lug tires on there, and man, their color seats and art markers and no markers and three point hitches and anyway. Or hear me out, steam engine. No, I'm kidding. Like I said, if I can't get this to work, I can't get this to work. You know, did he get off his? No, oh, he's still selected to the combine. All right, outside rounds. I'm just going to chalk it up to that, okay? It was working, and then it, well, you know, stopped working. Of course. Oh, yeah. Because ideally, he would only go and empty if he was full, right? The only reason he emptied there is because I made him. Or I told him to. That's the only reason he actually emptied, so. Yeah. That's okay. As they say, it is what it is. But after this empty, I'll go empty the auger wagon manually. Then I'll tell him to start. He should keep up the combine by himself. 
without me having to interfere the rest of the mission on hopefully hopefully anyway damn See, he pulled over to make room even what a nice guy what a nice guy not that way i really like that actually it's more realistic you know just saying pretty cool got that auger sticks out like dead forever just saying six out forever come on on hey much soybeans thank you all right 1050 is back from his first load in already okay good you know keeping an eye keeping an eye to everything i could do a bunch of fertilizing missions but i kind of hope i'm i, I don't know i want to maybe start scaling back just a little bit on the missions I enjoy doing missions, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, yeah, I want to work on my own fields, you know, just saying, you do make a lot of money on missions though. And the big missions like cultivating for a hundred th plus thousand dollars. Yeah. I'm probably still going to do those. Let's be real. So I'll do the big missions. I won't do the small ones. Cause the big ones you set it and forget it. Right. Ron Popeil it. Good old Ron Popeil. He's still alive. Is Ron Popeil still, like, alive? I don't actually know. I don't actually know. I've not heard anything about Ron Popeil in a long time. Of course, he had, you know, the rotisserie and the fake hair and the... You name it. He had it, man. Back in the day. I know the rotisserie was, like, his big... His claim to fame, right? I'm just saying. That really was a big deal for him. Kind of like the, um, the George Foreman grill. What? Made millions off that thing. Just saying. All right. So now if we tell you to go from like here, you're going to try to figure out your life. Cause frame rate hit. Come on. Of course, it's literally right in front of you, my guy. Saying. <laughs> no need for all the frame rate hit, you know? All right. I will actually be interested to see how much money we get from the soybeans. So probably it's going to be a while before we see that because seasons, soybeans. So we just missed our cutoff here. So really we're doing this mission for a year from now. Like we're going to store them up. We'll sell whatever we have to for the mission, obviously. And then whatever's left profit so hey we're three percent done hot dang hot dang all right so i think guys uh let's see let's actually go back to the haylands to the haylands okay so you need to stop again here in a second my guy let you finish your end row and then i'll stop you so there's not a lot of pass through this field is there Good. Everything's been fertilized, by the way, I believe. Like, all fertilized. Uh, oh, I gotta do that field again. Okay, 25. Maybe I'll get on there. Alright, so now we can put him back on field 3 if we want to. Probably not quite yet. Wait, I did the wrong one. There we go. No, not quite yet, because everything needs to be raked up. Okay. Or not raked, picked up, sorry. So for right now we'll just set this over here this is why i was talking about two loading wagons possibly because it's a lot it's a lot to be running in all the time with a loading wagon you know all right and i fertilize that is it growing Ugh, i should be able to the old rubicon out real fast and get pitter patter and you know just saying lot as well Obviously I can. Yeah, it's grown. So, yeah, I should be able to fertilize this. Should be able to. I need to get rid of that cotton harvester, actually. Why do I still have that thing? It's leap. <laughs> it's just costing me money. Get rid of that in a second, huh? All right, two times around. Where you go? Come on. Come on. There we go. 
All right, let's go look at the cotton harvester trailer. I think I'm just going to keep for now because, like I said, you know, I need to haul them. So but the harvester can go away. All right, is that actually taking effect? I can't tell yet. He hasn't turned it on yet. That's why. <laughs> like, come on, he just drove. But no. No, it's not how it works. Gotta wait for it to get off there so I can see. I would say it is working. Yes. Okay, so we'll let him go. 33 minutes to get that done. Um, Everything else seems to be running like a well-oiled machine, right? Maybe not this operation, but like over there. <laughs> You know, but he should actually be calling for it. Man, my frames are just awful right now. 29. Oh, this is a heavy map. I will say this is a heavy map, but you know, I have a PC computer that should run this map at higher frame rate, but you know, farm sim is not optimized. Unfortunately guys. Oh, Hey, he's calling for him right now. Bye, Bob, bro. Here we go. But, you know, kind of hard to unload a combine without a auger out, right? Just saying. I was so I, I was thinking it would actually stay with him the whole way. Need a little more speed out there, Flint. But now that we have an outside round opened up, uh, if the auger wagon needs to get around the field, he will drive on the field and not flip his auger on trees and stuff. So. He should be good to go. Was five hours, huh? Five, almost five hours. Wow. This is going to be real <laughs> to harvest this field. I should get another combine going. Go give me a tribine, huh? I should don't have one of those. There's something else I added, though. What else did I add? I can't remember. Added a couple mods for multiplayer, but I didn't activate them for in here, so. I don't know. Speaking of multiplayer, by the way, if you guys are interested, I will be streaming that uh, tonight. Twitch.tv slash Pumablau right like tonight, 6 p.m. Central. Let's go. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Get this video rendered up and uh, hit the old upload button, and hopefully it's done um, when it's supposed to be. But I appreciate you guys watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to check out Twitch uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Pretty much every day, except for Wednesday and Sunday. So, anyway, thanks for uh, tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, uh, toodles.